Hello everyone. Welcome to this post-gate guidance session on IIT Bombay. I am Avishi Parikh and I am currently pursuing my MTech in Aerospace Engineering at IIT Bombay. My specialization is propulsion. So this is something about the Department of Aerospace Engineering at IIT Bombay. They have the best possible education facilities for all the students who want to have careers in aerospace engineering. They regularly organize short intensive courses, conferences and many seminars on current and future technological developments. There are quite a number of multidisciplinary research opportunities. You can collaborate with other departments and carry on your research. The department also undertakes sponsored research and offers consultancy to other organizations like ISRO and DRDO. And through this, it has contributed towards national programs like the LPA, the GMDP, the GSLB in various capacities. The Department of Aerospace Engineering also has its annual aviation fest called Zephyr, which is usually a one or two day event consisting of various workshops, guest lectures and competitions. Now let's come to the eligibility part. The eligibility criteria is either a BTEC or BE with at least 60% marks. It, uh, the criteria is relaxed for SCST students. Um, it's about 55% marks. You are eligible for all four specializations if you have a BTEC or BE in aerospace engineering. But if you have a bachelor's degree in other departments, in other branches, you'll have selective eligibility, which we'll cover on in the next few slides. So these are the four specializations and uh, you are eligible for all four of them if you have graduated in aerospace engineering but if you have some other branches that you have graduated with these are the requirements that you need to fulfill to have a specialization of your choice aerodynamics so uh, a mechanical engineering or a civil engineering degree is what is required for aerodynamics. For dynamics and control, you can work with a mechanical engineering, electrical, electronics or instrumentation engineering. Aerospace propulsion would require you to have a mechanical engineering degree and aerospace structures would require you to have either a bachelor's in mechanical engineering or civil engineering. So all four of these will require GATE scores as well. So now let's come to the department research areas. These are the various research projects being undertaken by the various faculty in different departments. Um, now these are not constant and are not, you know, held throughout the year. It depends on the current faculty as well as what projects are already completed versus what future projects the faculty wants to undertake. So not all of these research areas are currently running but most of them are and uh, to know more about what the current uh, research, uh, what is the current uh, research that professors are doing, you can go to aero.iitb.ac.in check out the individual professor profiles and uh, look for research areas that might interest you these are the research areas that are being worked upon in aerospace propulsion and aerospace structures and just like i said for the previous two specializations you can go to aero.iitb.ac.in look for professor under your uh, specialization of choice and study the research areas and choose according to their interest. So now let's come to the curriculum. We will first start with aerodynamics. In the first semester, 
uh, we have four core courses and one elective. Core courses are compulsory for you to take and uh, they vary specialization to specialization. For aerodynamics in the first semester, during the academic year 23 24, these four were the core courses, the compulsory courses that aerodynamics students have to take. They were introduction to flight, aerodynamics of aerospace vehicles, gas dynamics, and aerodynamics lab. There's a flexibility to choose one subject and the first elective out of total six electives that you have to complete in your entire two years. The list will be circulated once you take admission to IIT Bombay. In the semester after that, you'll have two compulsory courses, which is preparation fluid dynamics and communication skills, as well as an MTech credit from the lab. You have three electives. One will be an institute elective, which will be from other disciplines, and two electives will be from your own department. Semester 3 and 4, you start your MTech project. The phase 1 is in semester 3, the phase 2 is in semester 4. In the second year, you are required to complete three electives. This can be done either as two electives in the first, in the third semester, and one elective in the fourth, or as one elective in the third semester and two electives in the fourth, as per your comfort. Coming to dynamics and control. Introduction to Flight System Modeling, Dynamics and Control, State Space Methods for Flight Vehicles and Control Systems Lab are the compulsory sub subjects for semester 1 with one elective which is the subject you choose according to your interest. In the second semester, we will have two compulsory courses which is the Aircraft, Flight Dynamics and Communication Skills as well as your MTech Credit Seminar. And just like aerodynamics, you'll have three electives. Two are from your specialization from uh, the department, and one is the institute elective, which is, which is from other departments. Semester three and four, you'll have your MTech project, as well as you'll be required to complete three electives. For propulsion, the compulsory courses in semester one are introduction to flight, aerodynamics of aerospace vehicles, aircraft propulsion, and aircraft propulsion lab, along with an elective of your choice. In the second semester, you will be required to study two compulsory subjects, aerospace propulsion, communication skills, and your MTech seminar. You'll have three electives. Two are from a department, and one is the institute elective, which is from the other department. Semester 3 and 4 will comprise of your MTech project and three electives in total. For aerospace structures, you'll have in the first semester introduction to flight, aerospace structures, structural dynamics, finite element methods, aircraft structural and mechanics lab. So in structures, it's slightly different. You won't have your have an elective of your choice in the first semester all subjects will be compulsory but for the other three specializations you'll have the choice of taking one elective similarly in semester two you won't have two department electives you only have one department elective all other courses will be core courses which are compulsory for you to take and there will be one institute elective but in semester three and four, like the other courses, you'll have a choice of three electives, which are up to you. Only in the semester first and the semester second, you'll have less electives as compared to other specializations and more core courses. So the student intake for aerospace engineering varies every year. It changes according to the requirements and there are, are around 50 to 70 seats for MTech program. This includes all specializations, all the four specializations and also the sponsored candidates who come in from DRDO, ISRO and the Defense Forces.
So let's come to the cutoff for aerospace engineering. This is for the year 2022-23. You can have a look at the the gate score of the last candidate who obtained admission in the MTech program in aerospace engineering. So ideally, you would want to have be have your gate score above these values to ensure a seat at IIT Bombay. Coming to the lab facilities, there are numerous, numerous labs at IITB. There's the aerodynamics lab, hypersonic CFD lab, lighter than air systems lab, the propellant research lab, combustion research lab, turbo machinery research lab, control and instrumentation lab, miniature aerial vehicle labs, structures labs, and acoustics and flow diagnostics lab. A variety of research takes place at these labs and all of these labs are under the professors. Uh, documents required for ensuring the admission uh, the, the following. The first one is a valid grade scorecard. Then you need your personal details like address, your email, your photo, your signature. You'll also need to furnish your qualifying degree certificate. It can be a provisional certificate as well if the college has not issued the final degree certificate to you. Please keep your co-op registration number very safe. You need it while accepting and freezing seats. We will also be required to furnish employment details if any, if you have had any employment experience or any publications that you may have uh, had previously before joining the MTech program. You'll also need to furnish a category certificate as well as birth certificate for the admission. So please make a note of all these documents and keep them handy. So now let's come to one of the most important parts which is the placements. Placements in IITB happen in two phases. One is in December, which is the main placement season. Majority of the placements happen in December. And the second phase occurs from January to June, where a few selected companies come. The resume submission is to be done by August. Uh, so you need to start preparing preparation of your resume is by July so that you can submit them in August. So resume preparation is a long, long task because you'll be required to qualify each and every point of your resume, which takes a lot of time. So you need to start preparation of your resumes in July and submit them by August. Then the qualifying tests of the companies will run from October to November. There will also be any group discussion rounds if the company decides to take one. And the group interviews will start from 1st December, usually. And the first placement season is for around 15 to 20 days. So, this is the program wise placement data for 2022 to 2023. Uh, we can see the Percentage of MTEX placed were 90%, but this includes all the departments, so not limited to just aerospace engineering program. This is a department wise classification of offers for aerospace engineering. There has been a very nice increase in the offers that have been made until last year. So, all this placement data is academic year 2023. So this is the this is the actual data for the Department of Aerospace Engineering which has you know uh, classification and uh, categorization of all programs of all students in the various programs. So in the year 2022 to 23 for the MTech program 
six students had participated and third were placed. It is quite a good number. Now coming to this year's placement statistics. For the year 23-24, four core companies came uh, for uh, recruiting students which were GE Aerospace, Airbus, MRF and Bajaj. They offered packages in the range of 18 to 16 LPA. This year, the placement statistics were quite low as compared to last year. The country saw a slump in hiring and recruiting by various organizations and this was also clearly seen in IITs as well. But uh, in the past years, there have been many companies like Safran uh, hiring and uh, this does not reflect the overall trend of IITs, but just this year's. So there are some suggestions for the students who want to join IITs and IISC. Um, firstly, I would suggest that all of you work on your soft skills, which are very, really, really important in the group discussion rounds as well as the interviews. You need to regularly upskill yourself by learning coding especially Python. You'll be needing Python in a lot of your assignments. And a lot of your assignments will be coding based. So you would be required to do them either on MATLAB or on Python. So it's really important that you learn that. And it's also essential to prepare for non code You cannot be sure of getting a placement in all in any of the core companies. You have to prepare yourself for non-core companies as well. You cannot just rely on core companies and sit. It might be possible that you won't be placed in core companies since the competition is really tough and there has been a slump in hiring. So, as far as core placements are concerned, keep your core basics very, very clear. Whatever you learned, while preparing, uh, while preparing for GATE, please keep them very, very clear and uh, your fundamentals should be very strong. You will be needing them for your interviews. And also, make note of all your projects and be very clear about whatever you have done. You will also be required to choose your guide in your second semester for your credit seminar as well as in your third semester for your MPT. So choose your guide wisely and as well as your topics keep him or her up to date about your progress. And learn software like MATLAB, Simulink, Latex, SolidWorks, CAD, yeah, Ansys and some scale. CAD modeling is an essential tool for aerospace engineers as well as simulation software like ANSYS and coding and analysis software like MATLAB and Simulink. So make sure you have you are up to date with software. Gate Aerospace Academy is a dedicated coaching center for the Gate Aerospace program. They provide four programs and they are a classroom program, a postal program, an online program, and a test series program. You can call them or contact them on the numbers provided as well as visit their website to know more about these programs and choose wisely which would suit you. They consistently produce results through their classroom program. The results are here for you to see. The growth has been ex exponential. You can follow Gate Aerospace Academy on the social media accounts. The links are also given in the description. You can join the cha Telegram channel for regular updates about job notifications, internships, and much more stuff related to aerospace and aeronautical engineering. Subscribe the YouTube channel for regular videos. Thank you for watching.